Hello everyone, it's Monomorphic here. Welcome back to my lab. Just wanted to take you on another tour. It's been a long time. <clears throat> this is sort of my uh, history shelf, uh, the different various frustums that I've built and tested uh, in the past. Um, over here is uh, my sort of mock effect area where I've built what I call mock effect analog devices. Uh, these generate various amounts of uh, thrust depending upon the direction that they are oriented. Uh, this one didn't produce anything. This one, it, just a little bit of a squiggle, maybe uh, less than half of a micronewton. Uh, this one produced about almost two micronewtons. Um, and uh, this is the newest one, which I hope to get probably 10 to 20 micronewtons out of. All right, this is the uh, frustum that OYZW sent me. It's solid copper spun without any seams, uh, very high quality. Uh, I was testing out uh, this antenna, but it's uh, not quite coupled right. I think I need to uh, make the antenna smaller. All right, now moving along to my, the rest of my lab. Uh, this is the main area. Uh, this is the uh, the test rig itself. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that uh, the test stand is no longer on this table because it was uh, very unstable and almost fell over once. I built this uh, wooden frame. Uh, it's very sturdy and it's all on wheels so the whole thing can uh, be moved around and oriented to the geomagnetic uh, field. All right, so moving on in, we'll take a look at uh, each component individually. I built this uh, laser pointer because uh, I lost my other one, uh, so we'll use that. All right, so I switched over to my tripod <clears throat> so I don't have to hold the camera. Okay, inside of the draft enclosure is the torsional pendulum itself. Uh, the torsional pendulum is this uh, beam right here. Uh, it is suspended by a singular wire in the very center, which is number 14 piano wire. Hold on a second, I'm getting my eye protection uh, because the laser is actually pretty powerful. So uh, inside of here is it is suspended by a number 14 uh, piano wire. Now also right here you'll see is the uh, uh, the liquid metal contact system. I have uh, eight individual uh, liquid metal contacts or four pairs. Uh, the, you can see here is the M drive itself. The, uh, we take measurements using these laser displacement sensors. I have two of them, one there and one over there. Uh, they are able to uh, have a resolution of uh, three, uh, uh, I think it's uh, nanometers. Yes, I believe it's three nanometers. And uh, they take measurements and that's all sent over to the uh, ADC right here. Okay, and right here we have the, uh, the, the liquid dampening system. I use uh, spindle oil. It's a reservoir of spindle oil. It actually took me six months to find that exact uh, a, a, a reservoir that would would work exactly in the space that I had provided. Now, a, a paddle that is very rigidly attached to this beam dips down into this oil and that dampens any uh, oscillations, noise, uh, uh, any movement, anything. It just dampens the whole thing. Now in the center is where the main amplifier is. It's inside of this uh, insulated box. It's a 30-watt uh, amplifier from about 2.3 gigahertz to about 2.45, dropping off as you get to 2.45. Uh, in front is the uh, RF circulator right there, and then I have my attenuators. I have uh, 40 dB of attenuation that goes back into the uh, signal generator, and that's the signal generator right there, uh, to the uh, power detector inside of the signal generator. So the way this works is that the signal generator generates the signal which goes into the back 
of this box and into the uh, amplifier. The amplified signal then comes out into the circulator, down, down, straight through the circulator, up along this wire and into the frustum, where it resonates at 2.407 uh, gigahertz in a, a mode that is T, called TE013. Now, any reflected uh, energy comes back through the cable, and then because this is a circulator, it then takes a right-hand turn and it goes through the attenuators up into the signal generator where I can detect uh, reflected power. Uh, and then of course, the signal generator has, is connected via USB through the liquid metal contacts and over into the detection equipment, the ADC. The ADC is an analog to digital converter. Okay, over here is the equipment shelf. I've got 120 volt AC comes in here. I've got three different uh, power supplies on the second level. I've got a 30 amp, uh, 14 volt power supply, which powers the main amplifier on the torsional pendulum. I've got another seven amp power supply, 12 volt power supply that powers all the other miscellaneous stuff over here like the relay board. I have a uh, laboratory grade power supply to uh, provide power for the laser displacement sensors. And uh, at this top level is where all of the uh, miscellaneous uh, sensors and uh, 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 sensor collection and, uh, equipment is. The, uh, the analog to digital converter, the laser displacement sensor amplifiers, uh, I've got some temperature sensors up here, and I also have a uh, down here is the antenna that I use to collect uh, ambient RF within the uh, uh, within a 2.3 to about 2.5 gigahertz band. I also wanted to mention that this little device right here is a 50 amp power meter, which allows me to detect things like uh, you know amperage, watts, total watts used uh, by the uh, main amplifier. And this is the 8-channel the relay board, which I use to automate the experiment uh, by sending signals to it from the computer uh, through LabVIEW. I'll be able to uh, automate the experiment onto timers so that each experiment can be identical, and we can then average the results at the end. And another thing that you'll notice is that everything is covered with uh, foam insulation or this uh, reflective bubble wrap insulation. Uh, what I found was that it was necessary to reduce any natural convection caused from the, uh, the highly thermally conductive aluminum that everything was made of. Uh, transferring heat with the uh, air and shedding vortices in a, in a natural convection. So that took me a while to figure out and it was uh, uh, once I put the insulation on everything it didn't have a have, don't have any more problems and you'll see that and as for the M drive itself, you'll notice these uh, adjustments on the small end. The center one is how I impedance match the antenna to the cavity uh, by turning it clockwise or counterclockwise. The antenna is moves along the z-axis of the frustum, and that is how the impedance is controlled. These three on the perimeter are how the small end is adjusted to be parallel to the large end. And this uh, actually increases the amount of return loss that you can get. And then everything is uh, fed through three different USB cables over to the main workstation, which is right here. And on the right hand side is the uh, ADC, on the left hand side is the controls for the relay and for the uh, signal generator open broadcaster installed on this workstation and so the next video I will show you the desktop and how the experiment is controlled.